Hi guys! Welcome back to Reyes Kitchen. So for today, ang gagawin naman natin na recipe ay ang ube cheese pandesal. Since trending ngayon ang ube cheese pandesal, why not try to make it at home? And again, itong recipe na to ay nakita ko sa PinoyCookingRecipes.com. Okay guys, so here are the ingredients that we need. We need all-purpose flour. We need room temperature butter. We need our yeast. So I started proofing na yung yeast natin. Salt. Room temperature egg. Ube extract. Evaporated milk. We have sugar, Eden cheese, and for this recipe, dadagdagan ko siya ng ube halaya. So let's get started. Okay guys, so habang hinihintay natin na mag fully proof ang ating yeast, let's mix our evaporated milk with our salt, sugar, and our butter. So, mix lang natin ng konti. And then, we have to put this in the microwave for about a minute. And then, we'll come back. Okay. So, after one minute sa microwave, ito na yung ating mixture. Halo lang natin siya ng konti. And then, we have to set it aside and let it cool bago natin siya ihalo sa mixture. Make sure na hindi siya super init. Okay guys, so for this recipe, gagamit tayo ulit ng um, stand mixer, again with the dough hook. So sa ating mixing bowl, um, nalagay ko na yung ating 2 cups of all-purpose flour. And then, idadagdag na rin natin ang ating egg. And then, ilalagay na rin natin ang ating yeast. Okay. And then, ilalagay lang natin siya ulit sa number 2 setting. And then, i-start na nating inid ang ating dough. Okay, so stop lang natin siya. And then, once na malamig na yung ating um, milk mixture, pwede na natin siyang ihalo. And then, i-continue lang natin. Okay. So, at this point, pwede na natin i-add ang ating ube extract. And again, dadagdagan ko siya ng ube halaya. So, mix lang uli natin. Okay. So, dadagdagan ko na rin siya ng half cup of flour then mix again mag add ako ulit ng half cup of flour mix again okay at this point mag add ulit ako ng quarter cup of flour. So, in total, bale, three and a quarter cup 
of all-purpose flour ang magagamit or more depende sa consistency ng dough na gusto nyong ma-achieve. So, i-mix lang uli natin hanggang maging soft and elastic. So, guys, ito okay na yung ating dough. Bibilugin lang natin siya. Okay, so ito na yung ating dough. Ilalagay lang natin siya sa greased bowl. And then, tatakpan natin siya. And then, we'll wait for about 1 to 1 and a half hours until mag-double siya ng size. Okay guys, so after 1 hour, ito na ang ating dough. Here you go. So, super double the size na siya. Ang gagawin natin sa dough, ipapunch lang natin para matanggal yung air. Set it aside. And then we will lightly flour our surface. Okay, so ito na yung ating dough. Punin natin siya. Okay, hahatiin natin siya into two equal portions. Tabi lang natin yung isa. And then, hatiin lang natin to into equal portions. So, ito na yung ating dough. Flatten lang natin siya. Then, kuha tayo ng cheese. Lagay lang natin siya. And then, ibalot natin siya. Ganyan. And then, i-roll lang natin siya. So, ito na yung ating rolled na dough. After natin siyang i-roll sa breadcrumbs, itatabi muna natin siya. So guys, ito na yung ating rolled na dough. Um, we have to proof this again for another half an hour and then it will be ready to bake. Ready to bake na ang ating bread. So ayan na siya. So ilalagay lang natin siya sa oven. At 350 degrees for 18 to 20 minutes. Okay guys, ready na ang ating ube pandesal. So ito na ating ube cheese pandesal. Mmm, bango. So, papakul down lang natin siya, then titikman na natin siya. Okay, ito na ang ating pandesal. Wow! Look at that! May usok-usok pa. Mmm. So, tikman na natin. partner nito. Talk. So that's it for our video today guys. Hope you enjoyed watching and if you like this video please hit like and subscribe to my channel for more recipes and sana matry nyo din siya at home very soon. Bye!